welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. Today I'm gonna to do part two of my Shein haul. So this is all the clothes that I got. The part one was all the maternity bathing suits. And so now I am gonna show you all the clothes that I got since the last time I was pregnant with Lydia, it was during the winter and I literally didn't need anything. So when summer came around, I was like, oh gosh, I have no clothes to wear and nothing fits me. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. So I got three dresses, three shirts, and one pair of jean shorts. The first shirt I'm gonna show you guys is this black top. I really like these flowy tops because they're so cute and you can either dress them up or down and they're also extremely comfortable. It is really, really hot outside right now. So like everything just feels all like sticky and gross. And so these shirts are very comfortable and I really like that. So this is like a black one and it kind of like, I don't even know how to explain this. It like kind of ripples down. There's three layers. There's this chest layer and then this middle layer and then the bottom layer. And it's so cute, but the only thing that kills me is this shirt literally collects every single piece of lint from the laundry. I washed this like three times now and every single time I've taken it out of the laundry, it's just like lint is all over it. If I show you close up enough, you can, yeah, like, Look at it! <laughs> it's so linty, the entire, entire thing. So as cute as this shirt is, it is kind of a pain in the butt to need to take off the lint every single time you wash it. And then the next shirt I'm gonna show you guys is this one right here. This one's also super cute. I love the little like ruffles on the sleeves and then the bottom is also very flowy, so this is very lightweight, and it's so comfortable to wear. And the material is also super, super soft, and it's super stretchy. And then the last and final shirt that I got was a tank top. It's this one right over here. It's the same type of like pattern that the black one is, but you can see it clearer on this shirt. So like there's like the three, different layers and it gets wider and wider on the bottom. I don't know what that style is called, but it's so cute. And honestly, like I'm, I want to get more in this top because the, this is just so comfortable and it's, it's really, really cute. So that's that one. And then on to the dresses. This dress is honestly by far one of my favorite dresses because it is so, so comfortable and it is so cute and it shapes your body really nicely too. So here is the pattern on it. It's really cute and it's kind of like just a skinny long dress that goes all the way down. There's also this slip right here. So it makes it really easy to go in and out of the car. The thing about some of my maternity dresses, I have one from Target. It's like a bodycon one as well, but around the leg area, it's so tight. It makes it really hard for me to get in and out of the car. So since this dress is super stretchy, it's so comfortable. I really love how stretchy it is and I love the color and I've been contemplating getting more of this dress as well, but who has an unlimited amount of money to spend, not me. So this is all I get so far, but it's so cute and I love this dress. It's so comfortable. I would wear it every single day, but I take a walk around the neighborhood every single day and they would probably, my neighbors would be like, does she not have any other clothes? <laughs> then the next dress I got is, <coughs> I'm still kind of sick, but I know I need to get a video up on Wednesday. So I'm trying to record this and get it edited and out for you guys. But here is the second dress. It's long and it's kind of this maroon color. And here is the side detailing. It has this like tie right here so you can either cinch it up or down. I put mine on the longest because I don't like my maternity dresses to be short. I like them to at least come down to like my knee or shin area or whatever. But I really like these sleeves. I don't have a dress that sleeves are kind of like this. Like normally all of them are just kind of tank tops. But I like this 
type of sleeve because it covers this lump in my armpit. And this came about when I was pregnant with Lydia. And it's a pity. So it's just when you have like extra breast tissue in your armpit and when milk comes in, it gets bigger. So yeah, it's this one has, I feel like it stayed kind of the same size since I've been pregnant with this baby, but it's growing on this arm now. So it's really annoying, but yeah, it's something I really, really hate, but like I can't just not wear like normal clothing. That's why I really like this one because this dress actually covers it and I really appreciate that. But the only thing I wish was different about this dress was that it was a little bit looser. So I probably could have gone with a medium in this one because the material isn't extremely stretchy. like this dress that I have. So this one is the small and it fits perfectly and it stretches so much. But this one, I feel like once I get bigger, my body's just gonna tap out. Like I, I'm not gonna be able to fit it anymore. So that's the only downsize. If you do get this dress, I would suggest sizing up one size so then you can actually fit into it and grow into it. And then the last dress I got, uh oh, the sleeve is not tied. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly tie it. So it has these little like strings on the side that you can tie. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. And then here is the dress. It's super cute and super flowy. And I love really flowy dresses like this. Uh, the thing I really like about this dress is that the straps are adjustable. So depending on how high or how low you want the neckline, you can do that and just tie it to your own liking. It is like the tiniest, tiniest amount see-through. So if you were to wear nude undergarments underneath it, then you would be definitely fine, but I would not suggest wearing black under this because you would definitely be able to see through that unless that's the type of look you're going for. And then the very last thing that I was very hesitant on buying because I am so, like picky when it comes to my shorts and stuff. Like I was very nervous buying these pairs of shorts because I didn't know if it would fit my body correctly. And I am actually extremely glad that I got these maternity shorts. They are so comfortable and they fit so perfectly and they don't make my body look funny. And I like how it's kind of wide on the pant bottom instead of it being tight around my legs. Like I like the more like loose type of look when it comes to shorts as well. My other maternity shorts, I don't know if they shrunk or I'm just a lot thicker this pregnancy, but they're very tight around my thighs now. And I don't really like that. I really like how this is more like a loose fit. And then surprisingly, like this belly part is also very, very comfortable. I normally do not go for any type of pants or shorts that cover my belly because I find it very restricting. And I really don't like that. I normally just go for like the low cut ones that sit right under your belly, but this is so comfortable and like, I'm so happy I got these and even though it is white, like it's not see-through because the material is very thick and it's very nice. So I would probably go and get another color in this one too when I get a little bit more money. So yeah, that is everything I got and I hope you guys like this haul video. I feel like this time it's definitely a lot less chaotic because Lydia's taking her nap. In my last Shein video, she was literally all over the place, just knocking over stuff, just being her little crazy self. So <laughs> this one I feel like is a lot less distracting, that's for sure. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.